Thanks for inviting us in. It is 11 o'clock and right now there is a manhunt across the country for a mother accused of killing her son, stuffing the boy's body in a suitcase and abandoning it in southern Indiana. Police right now are searching tirelessly for Dejan Anderson. This is a look at her on the screen. This is the woman investigators believe killed Cairo Jordan, but now they want to know how and why this happened. So let's bring in Rachel Krause. You've been digging through all the new details released today. What have you learned? Well, after six months of, search, of searching, state police have finally offered some answers as to what happened to five-year-old Cairo Jordan. Like you said, we spent all day combing through this new information. Let's get right to it. State police used fingerprints on trash bags in the suitcase with the child's body inside, linking the crime to the boy's mother, Dewan Anderson and Don Coleman. And data from their cell phones put them in the same area of southern Indiana just two days before Cairo's body was found there. A mushroom hunter in the area just happened across the suitcase when he witnessed the horrifying contents inside. I'm glad I found him and got him out of that situation that he was in and put him in an environment where he can be took care of properly. But I just wish that he was stuck there properly before this happened. Before they threw him away. <laughs> Boy, it still bothers me that somebody would have the audacity to throw somebody else away like that piece of trash. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that tears me up inside. That somebody would have that goal to hurt somebody like that. for that man and police have also revealed some disturbing details about social media posts from both of the women, right? Yeah, and right now, based on these posts, it looks like both Anderson and Coleman thought that the boy was possessed by demons. Coleman's already under arrest tonight, facing formal charges. Anderson is still on the loose. Last seen in the Los Angeles area, but she also has ties to other cities like San Francisco, San Diego, Las Vegas and Houston. So there's this large search that continues underway, at least for this uh, for the mom. Yeah, absolutely. And police still pushing very hard to find answers as to yeah. really why this happened. It's such a disturbing case, such heartbreak for that uh, whole family. Yeah, Rachel. absolutely horrifying. But yeah. at least now we know his name. OK, Rachel, thanks. Tonight, we've uncovered details about Dewan Anderson's criminal history. March 12th, she was arrested in South Carolina. This is after police say she was driving 92 miles an hour, which is 30 miles above the speed limit there. And she led police on a chase for miles until her car ran out of gas. Now in the car with her was five year old Cairo and Don Coleman. Then on March 31st, she was arrested in Louisville accused of stealing from a mall and punching a security officer in the face. She was in jail until April 11th, just five days before her son's body was found in southern Indiana. We have all the latest information on this investigation, along with the photos of Anderson amid a nationwide manhunt. Just open the WTHR app.